Hello. Now, I'm not sure how many more times I'm allowed to do this. Having a bimble. Apparently every major newspaper in the UK yesterday ran with a story saying that the government are now thinking about making those aged 50 plus um, putting them into shielding which means that we can't go out anywhere apparently and that was just about every newspaper I think the Mail, the Express, the Sun all those sort of papers from what I can see but there's all sorts of rubbish stories and what have you and um, I saw last night on YouTube it's, they interviewed somebody just a grey suit and I um, don't know his name they asked him and he said there's no um, no plans to do that at the moment but the newspaper papers say it's under a, a program called the nuclear plan whatever that may be so is it fact or fiction or there's so many false stories isn't there really because lots of dogs barking hope we don't come across them <laughs> you're right boat Come here, mate. Come say hello. Yeah, so, I don't know. Seems absolutely ridiculous just lately. It really does. You've got to wear, supposed to wear masks in shops. And all the rest of it. In the UK yesterday, they say that um, eight people died. Now this is an odd thing because they're changing it. They keep chopping and changing it. Eight people died with COVID. Oh God, I wish I could remember. With COVID something. Can't remember. Eight people. Apparently 12 died the day before. And I saw a little graph. And it showed that the figures are coming down. It was 16 or whatever, and then 12, then eight. And they reckon that it could be like six in a day or two, and then three, and by the weekend, zero. Zero to one by the weekend. Hello, mister. Hello, my love. Oh, look at your, your paws better, isn't it? Or your leg. Bless him, he's had a little bit of a a little bit of a quiet time, we'll say, because um, I've been just mildly concerned about his paw or his leg. Bode, come on. Hello. A couple of motorhomes over there, look. Nice, nice to chill out. I see a lot of my friends now um, are away. Well, this weekend, um, well, not this weekend, this weekend as I'm making this, I'm making this, this is Monday the whatever date, third, I think, Monday the third. Oh, I must remind you, for those that are interested, <laughs> I've got a long premiere coming this Thursday, my longest ever. It's one hour and 50, I think it's 51 minutes, so nearly two hours of me banging on a bit. So if you're interested, it's eight o'clock, this Thursday, which will be the 6th. My art comes up on 7 o'clock this Thursday. And then my premiere, which would be 8 o'clock. So if you want to chat, come and join us. The video will go up tonight on YouTube so that you can click the bell and uh, get a, a reminder. Or set yourself an alarm or whatever, but it's 8 o'clock on Thursday. It'd be lovely. If some of you joined me, we can have a chat. Can you hear them bloody dogs? Very yappy. So this is nice. Nice bit of shade as well. It's not overly warm today. 
um, probably 18 degrees, something like that, which is lovely, absolutely lovely. What I call walking weather, or bimbling weather, should we call it? <laughs> Whatever it is. So in the premiere, um, I talk about life in general, and uh, talk a little bit about art. Tell you something that I'm quite excited about, that I'm buying. Hello, mister. Whoa, that was a funny way of going round. You okay, mate? How's your paw? How's your leg? Oh, it's fine, Dad, it's fine. All right, Bodhisattva. Yeah, he's doing well. So I talk about many different things, but I've titled it Friendship. And uh, that's kind of the theme, although I do go off on a tangent because I am the ramblings. <laughs> but yeah, Thursday at 8 o'clock, come and join me. Come and have a chat. Or if not, maybe you'll catch it up another day. It's up to you, isn't it, really? Do whatever you do. But it'd be nice. Nice just to pop by and say, Hello. Up to you. Now, if you're watching this, Martin, I've got a friend, Martin, he's been very, very poorly, but he's starting to get better, starting to get better, just slowly. Unfortunately, he's been in the hospital since, what is it, Martin, Christmas time? Long time. Most of the bloody year. But he's back home now. Uh, been home for about a week or more and he's getting his wheelchair today which means Martin you can go out and about not too far and nice and steady so bless you mate look after yourself another mate of mine Pete bless him um, Pete had a stroke just recently I've been in the hospital ever since but Pete you're home as of last night so take it easy mate I know you've had um problems with walking and stuff but you will get there you know you're gonna get there so look after yourself just watching my little boy look at him he's sniffing away doing his thing he does like pretend wheeze <laughs> typical little boy dog My God, that dog in the background really is screaming. Sounds like he's never been on a lead before. So we're just out on a very quiet bimble this morning. I, I do have a day's work today and I've been naughty. I've been very good actually. I managed to do quite a chunk last night, late. I, I was working till <clears throat> I think 20 past one, something like that. So I'm quite tired, but um, quite happy at the same time. Where's my dog gone? Hello, where is he? Where's that boy? Where's that dog? Birdie! Mr. A, come on Mr. Crow. I know what you're doing. Sniffing away. Licking, licking he was. So yeah, I did loads of work. Um, probably from 9pm-ish. So probably about four hours. Which will give me probably three more hours or four more hours today to finish off. But I know I can finish it. So I thought, well, take advantage of nice weather 
um, I had to post to Martin. I just mentioned Martin. Martin, you passed within the post to you, my friend. Tuesday or Wednesday, you'll get that. Should be Tuesday. Come on, come on now. Yeah, we're just chilling out. Just taking it easy this morning. It's good to do some form of exercise. Get some fresh air in your lungs. Move your body a little bit. Because my work is very... Um, I sit down, you know. I don't move. The worst thing to do which I've got into the habit of, is you lay down for however many hours per night. I get up, put the kettle on, and I sit down. I hardly need a bloody rest after being laid down, but that's what I've got into the habit of doing. So what I'm trying to do now is to get up, Oh, I'll turn the camera off. Uh, be back in one. Hello again. That was lovely speaking to a lady with a greyhound, great big greyhound. And um, proper racing greyhound it was. And she's taking it on and has to walk it twice a day. But then they live in an old farm house with a couple of acres. Um, so the dog can run because the dog just needs it's got that want to run a bit like me so yeah I was saying it's quite lazy isn't it I lay in bed for a number of hours overnight I get up I make a slurpee and sit down absolutely ridiculous so um, what I'm trying to do is to get up make the slurpee potter around do a few little things and what have you and when I've had my meds and my slurpee then we go out and uh, try and spend an hour or two or even more out if we can and then that gives me like the rest of the day then I can sit down and I feel I'm kind of rewarding myself with a sit down if you know what I mean it doesn't always work out like that because um, it all depends on my hips and ankle. Hips are quite bad at the moment, but um, not bad enough to stop me from bimbling in this beautiful green place. It's wonderful. So stories in the press, eh? But it does make me wonder, is it a story? Was it a story? Did the government leak it? Um, I know, I keep saying about the drip, drip, drip effect, it's easier to manipulate people, control people, if you like, if they already half believe something, if they've heard something, if they're not sure about something, if they've got an uncertainty about something, it's easier to control people, cajole people, if you like, whatever. And that's why, even though it's eight deaths yesterday, and possibly four, five or six today, and maybe two Saturday and none Sunday, if that's the case, and yet, every now and then they throw in the second wave. We're fully used to that now, that little phrase, the second wave. So they can tell us at any stage we're now in the second wave. And we will believe it. Well, not all of us, you know, on the whole, we will believe it because we've been fed that drip, drip, drip. So if we hear that, um, should we go this way? If we hear over 50s, possibly may have to go shielding 
You coming this way, my little friends? Yeah, if we hear that, even though the government now are denying it, but it was in every single newspaper. So we've heard it now. I'm now mentioning it in this video, so you will have heard it again. And other things, other news outlets will have picked up on the newspapers over the weekend, so it may appear on radio or the local news or whatever. And before too long, we will have heard over 50s shielding. We will have heard that again and again and again. And Boris's new crap phrase, I can't remember what it is, it's something like hand, face, shoelace, who knows hands face trace pace or something absolutely pathetic but why all this stuff you know if seriously you know if we've got hardly any deaths and things are getting easier and better then why suddenly introduce muzzles why hint at the over 50s possibly being shielded. Why have a new phrase, trace, paste, toothpaste? Face, hands, wash behind your neck. Ears, face, face, trace, paste, I think it is. Ears, nose, I don't know. Ears, nose, throat, face, paste, trace. That's Boris's new slogan. I think I've got that right. He is face arse. Yeah, he is face arse, trace, pace, nace. Good old Boris. Now, Boris Johnson, he's a very clever man. We think of him as being this bumbling, fat clown. He's far from that. Very astute, very clever. Please don't lick, Mr. Man. Thank you. I mean, if it was him that come up with the face trace place mace, mace in the face, then uh, that's pathetic. But probably it was a team of people. But he is very much, um, you know, there's a hidden depth to him, I believe. I mean, he's still a fucking arsehole. You know, don't get me wrong. A complete arsehole. He will go down in history as the worst Prime Minister we've ever had, without any shadow of a doubt. You know, he was on holiday, he wouldn't come back from holiday when all this Covid thing started. And then when he did, he took the piss, didn't he? Wash your hands, sing happy birthday. Ah, let's go and shake everybody's hands, it don't matter. Oh, whoops, I've now got ill. You know, he's a complete arsehole. And then to release elderly people from hospitals into care homes, actually killing people. Okay, we're just gonna go and enjoy the rest of our bimble. So I just thought I'd stop by to say, hello, welcome to the week. And um, see you Thursday if you want to, eight o'clock. It's called Friendship. This way, mate. So, if I don't see you before, see you Thursday, yeah? Take care and be well.